About one in three humans have a fear of snakes or some kind of reptiles. This is one of the most common fears, and even if you aren't having an extreme phobia of snakes, odds are if you are watching this right now, you are afraid or at least scared of snakes to some degree or another. So this begs the question, why exactly are humans so afraid of snakes? And even city living humans, which have never seen a snake before in their lives. Well, the fear of snakes has been studied extensively by scientists, and it was initially suggested that it was a learned fear. Now, what a learned fear is, is it's a kind of fear that gets passed on by observing your parents or other human beings. For example, young kids, they like to mimic their parents, and this is how we learn and pass things on generation by generation. So the theory goes that little kids saw that their parents were afraid of snakes and other insects such as spiders and reptilians, and therefore they became afraid of snakes. However, new research suggests that this is not actually the case. New research has identified that there are very likely literal neurons that are dedicated specifically towards identifying snakes and potentially spiders. The reason for this is because from an evolutionary standpoint, humans were at risk of dying greatly from snakes. While we were wandering around in nature looking for food, snakes were likely much more common and if you were to get bit by a snake back in the day, especially when humans were originally much smaller, that could kill you. And of course, those that got bit by a snake and were not afraid of snakes would die, but those that were afraid of snakes would continue to live on as they would likely avoid the snakes. There's been all kinds of other interesting studies about snakes. For example, the bottom half of our eyes are more capable of detecting snakes than the top half of our eyes. And this of course makes sense as well. However, if you want to do something a little bit interesting, during a sunset or looking at some beautiful nature thing, try to look at it upside down. So for example, if you're at the beach, you're probably standing up looking towards the ocean. Well, if you lay down and put your head up, so that way the perspective is changed to be upside down, you might be just how surprised, just incredibly surprised with how beautiful the ocean is. Again, the reason for this is because the bottom half of our eyes actually processes more information. And this makes sense because if you're wandering through the jungle, you don't really need to be afraid of the sun and the sky or birds flying around for that matter. What you need to be more afraid of is what's going on in front of you as well as what's on the ground. Anyways, doing that quick little trick will suddenly make the sunset or the sky appear suddenly much more vivid and colorful and beautiful. The reason for this is because now the bottom half of your eyes, um, if you're doing this little experiment correctly, the bottom half of your eyes will be processing the sky or the sunset or whatever, whereas normally it's the other way around. So back to the snakes. We know already that our eyes are more likely to detect what's on the ground, and we also know now that we might have dedicated neurons for detecting snakes. Other studies have been conducted, for example, trying to identify how quickly children versus adults could identify snakes. What they found is that children and adults could identify snakes just as fast, again suggesting that it's not a learned fear but instead natural especially among other things. So for example, if a picture was shown of nature, people would most likely identify the snake first, and when they studied humans' eyes, our eyes would actually jump to the snake extremely quickly before noticing any other details. And if you've ever been hiking out in nature and suddenly came across a snake, you very well know the phenomenon. Even if you're not afraid of snakes, for example, I'm not too afraid of snakes, it's still a very sudden shock when you identify them. However, like we said earlier, only one in three humans have a extreme fear of snakes or a phobia. The other two thirds of us humans, we can still identify snakes very, very quickly. And there's still some kind of a jolt which occurs. What the research has also suggested is that it can trigger feelings of excitement. So some people might see the snake and these neurons could get activated, but instead of that activating fear, 
it could activate excitement instead. However, as anyone that will have owned a snake and been bitten before will tell you, getting bitten by a snake can reactivate that fear of snakes, even if you've never been afraid of snakes, very quickly. So these are some reasons why you might be afraid of snakes. In short, the bottom half of our eyes does more visual processing than the top half, thus making us more likely to identify snakes. We have dedicated neurons that try to identify threats, and from an evolutionary standpoint, snakes were a huge threat. So that is why we have dedicated neurons, and even people and monkeys which have never seen a snake before, when seeing a photo or coming across a snake in nature, can identify it and become afraid of it very, very quickly. So we hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of content. If you have any snakes, wildlife, or pests of any kind inside of your home, make sure to contact us so we can have the professionals deal it with it for you. Contact us by calling 855-WILDLIFE or by visiting wildlifexteam.com for more information. Thank you so much and have a good one. Having trouble with wildlife in your home or office? Wildlife X Team is your solution to get rid of the raccoons, bats, rats, and snakes. Having a professional team, we offer both residential and commercial animal removal methods by using innovative and integrated techniques. Our services include animal trapping, dead animal removal, nuisance wild animal control, and animal capture. What are you waiting for? To get 24-7 service, call us at 855-WILDLIFE for an affordable solution for your nuisance wildlife issues.